So Google Chrome is one of the most popular web browsers out there that you can basically go ahead and download on a majority of devices. And I'll go and show you a quick beginner's introduction on exactly how to use this particular web browser. Now this is what it looks like. This is the most up-to-date version of Google Chrome right now. And when you open it up for the first time, it's probably going to go and ask you to sign into your Google account. If you already have a Google account, it's probably going to add it in. But that is essentially the very first thing to do is to go ahead and basically just log into your account. And this is kind of what the splash screen kind of looks like. So you have the Google account up here, you have a search bar, you have different favorite bookmarks that you have, and then you have different types of news and everything that's going around. Now, sometimes you may just jump straight into a website. So you might just be straight into google.com. So it really depends on what it's going to look like for you. Now, if you're on the splash screen, what you can always do is you can click on the top right corner right up here. You can get access to your Google account and different information within your Google account right here. So you can go through, sign into your account and get access to all those different things that way. Now here, like I just said before, just a bunch of information, search bar, favorite bookmarks, different things like that. At the bottom, it's pretty much universal. It's always going to be like this at the very, very bottom bar. So what you can do here is you can click on the back button if you want to, if you want to click on the back previous page, the forward button will allow you to go forward a page. This plus button will allow you to go ahead and create a new tab. So you can just create new tabs if you want to just by clicking here and that will allow you to just quickly jump into a new tab. And this square button, if you click on it, shows you all the tabs that you basically have right now. And then this three dots right here will just get you into a more panel. So here you can access your bookmarks, history, your reading list, what's new, downloads, you know, your downloaded folder, recent tabs, settings. There's also a reload button, new tab, new incognito tab, and you have access to deleting your browsing data, customizing menu. At the very bottom, you can report an issue, help, and share Chrome. So that is that for this. Now hopping out of here, we can go and create a new tab. So let's say we want to get into our, you know, square tab panel. We can tap right here and we can get access to all of our tabs that we have open. Now, if we want to, we can click on the X button next to these tabs. If we want to just quickly close out of a tab and we can jump straight into our tags like this, or what we can do is we can click right here. We can go into a incognito tab. So this is our private browser. So what we can do here is we can just get access to all sorts of our, you know, private tabs. Let's say we don't want it to, you know, see what we're doing. We can just click right there and get access to our private tab, which is really convenient. And you can click on the plus button here to get access to your incognito tab. To get out of the incognito, you can just click here and just jump straight back into your normal tab right here. Now this computer icon with a phone icon above it is just your share tabs from other devices. So if you have tabs open in other devices, you can see those tabs open right here, which is actually really cool. You can click on show full history to see all of it. And you have that option right here to basically see everything like that too, which is genuinely very awesome. Now if we come back to our normal tab and if we tab right here, at the very top, you'll have a search bar. You can tap on the search bar right here if you wanna load up any website. So let's say we want to load up, let's say yahoo.com. We can just type in Yahoo and you can use your keyword as you normally would to search up these things. And you can search up that, that it would search up basically just like that. I don't know why it showed up. Oh, because I did .com, but you can search up whatever you want to and it acts just like a Google web browser. And you can click on the search, you know, the share button right there if you want to share out a tab. So you can always click right there if you want to share out tabs, if you want to airdrop a certain website to somebody, you can do that right within this particular tab right there. Now, like I said before, if you click on here, if you want to go back to the previous page, you can go ahead and just click on the back button right there and you can click back forward depending on how you want to load it. Now you also have these three dots here. Let's say you want to share this or you want to save this as a bookmark. You can just tap on those three dots right there. You can go ahead and bookmark this by tapping on bookmarks and you will have to be signed in. But you can go ahead and just start bookmarking tabs if you want to. So you do have that type of capability right here by clicking on add to bookmarks or add to reading list. And from here you can view your history, your reading list that you saved, anything that's new or new features. You also have a password manager built right into this particular panel as well. So you do have that here as well, which is another very cool thing. So any passwords that you have saved up, you can access those right here. And then you have your downloads, like your downloaded folder, your recent tabs, your site information. And then under settings, you have a lot more options that you can customize as well. So I'd recommend just going right into settings and customizing this particular browser, whichever way you want to. So you can always go through and click on you know, default browser, search engine, your password manager. You have a lot of different settings here you can kind of customize. So like I said, I'd recommend just going through here and just customizing all these particular panels because it is actually very nice and very convenient to basically go through and just customize those things as you basically can as at this point. So at the core, that's kind of how you use Google Chrome. It's a fairly basic browser. It doesn't really take too much time and it's a very, very basic type of browser to go ahead and use. So that kind of covers it up here. 
If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.